I am back home. I just came back from this lovely dinner with this fellow Filipinos and the guy from Zambia. So we went to Taco Bell and it was my first time eating Taco Bell and my first time hanging out with fellow Filipinos. It was so fun to connect and talk about what we missed. In Exciting! Exciting! Hi guys, my name is Char and I am here right now in Solana. Solano? Solana. Solana. And why I'm very excited is because I'm gonna be meeting a couple of Filipinos right here in Beijing. Ah! It's my first time to meet. Filipinos here in Beijing and I have been living in China for four years now. I have never once like gone out or hung out with a fellow Filipino. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. But later on, I'm gonna be meeting a couple of Filipinos that I've met online. But it's so exciting. So we're right here right now eating yogurt and we're just gonna wait for them. While we're waiting for them, let me show you around the Tindesitas of Beijing. I'm starting my fourth year here in China and admittingly this is my first time to meet my fellow countrymen which is so embarrassing. I don't even know why it took me this long to connect with them and try to hang out with them. I don't know why. Maybe because my first year here in China I was really scared to go out alone and to explore because I don't know any Chinese and I feel that if I get lost nobody will help me. And then my second year and my third year, I was just like really into work. I would work a lot. I worked from 8.30 to 8 p.m. And I didn't even have a social life. So it's really embarrassing. I think I need to change. I need to connect more with people because I don't want to become a loner. I want to widen my circle, especially during this pandemic. It taught me that I'm really alone. I have no one to count on. I have no one to talk to if I'm sad or I'm homesick. I have no one to ask for advice. I have no one to burden my problems. So yeah, I'm gonna connect more with my old Filipinos. And I'm really glad to have met these guys and I hope that we would you know, connect more in the future and we would go out more. Andy, hey, how are you? Oh, we're in the Four years now. Wow. So, Chinese Mandarin is like really, really hard. So, how many years did you study in the university? I studied four years. Chinese. 
Everybody just met everybody online and it was really cool. It was really awesome. <laughs> Can you act naturally? <laughs> and talk about what we missed in the Philippines and what we like to do in Beijing. How is our life? How is our life during this pandemic? How is our life now? And what do we like about China and all this stuff? So it was so much fun, especially because the conversation just keeps flowing. It's like we've been friends for a long time and this is not our first time meeting each other. It was so, so much fun talking to them and it was so fun connecting. <sighs> I miss having this instant connection with people. Ah. I hope to see more Filipinos here in China. Anyway, I'm gonna end there. I can't really talk right now because I'm still in the moment of enjoying myself and being proud of myself because I got out there. I connected with people. So I don't want to talk anymore and ruin this moment. Ah, anyway, my name is Shar and I do videos here on YouTube. I do vlogs now <laughs> about my life and you know, I do expert guys lifestyle and ESL guides here on YouTube. If you are into that content, go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and hit that bell button. See you next time, and have a good night. Bye-bye!